The side bend sit and transition in MoveNet is a pretty basic seated position that a lot of people have trouble with because of hip mobility or a lack thereof. So today I'm going to show you a few exercises that you can use to make it a little bit easier and progress towards being able to do it comfortably like I'm doing right here. So if you can't do this on your own just like that, you can try putting your hands back on the ground. You can bring your legs from one side to the other a little bit easier. You can also try exploring by reaching around in different directions over the front leg, over the back leg. And if you keep reaching over the back leg, that knee will start to come up and begin your transition to the other side. You can hold on to your leg for support if you don't want to put your hands back on the ground behind you, but it's up to you. You can try on the other side, reaching in every direction. Reach as far as you can toward the trailing leg until that knee starts to come up. And then if you're losing balance, you can hold on to the knee or again put your hands behind you on the ground. This will help to free up your hips and allow your thighs to rotate a little bit easier. You can also push into that side, trying to keep your hips on the ground and just really pushing into that trailing leg, trying to touch the pelvis to the floor on that side. Another alternative is to do this similar transition but lying down on your back. So you can lie down and just bring your legs down from one side to the other and then you don't have to worry about the complexity of holding yourself up. If one side feels tighter than the other, you can try moving to the easy side three times and then seeing how that improves both sides. Thanks for tuning in. That's it for today and I hope you found this video helpful. Take care.